Welcome to Superior Profi tutorial on how to use hop off template. In this tutorial, we will describe in detail different ways that hop off template is used by traders. Hop off template has all indicators that one may need to exit a trade. We will go through each of them and understand how they help us book profit as well as minimize loss. If you have seen our tutorial on hop on template, you know we use hop on template to enter our trades. Once we have entered a trade, we have several distinct possible actions to take. One is to take money off the table when we have profit without hoping that every trade will keep moving in our direction forever. This initial profit may be booked on partial position, say half of the position. Second possibility is to let profit run on remaining position, so that we can benefit from those occasional long hauls that our trade may enjoy. Third is to protect profit while in the long haul and neither to let it turn into losing trade not to erode large part of the unbooked profit. And lastly, in case the trade is not moving in our direction from beginning, we need to cut our losses. These are complex decisions that need to be taken in the heat of a trading battle between us and the market, or so it feels when we are in a trade. To keep calm and make objective decisions in our best financial interest, we need clear signal to tell us when to execute each of these actions. Hop off template includes all the signals or tools as we call them that are required to achieve exactly that. Hop off is ready to use. There is no need to spend hours trying to find the ideal setting of the parameters. In fact, there is no parameter to be set. The signaled price levels are not hard coded, neither as a fixed dollar price level nor as a fixed percentage price level. Instead, they are calculated based on the prevailing direction and volatility of the stock. That is why we don't need parameters to be manually adjusted for each trade or each stock that we trade. For swing trades lasting few days to few weeks, we use hop off template on daily chart. It can be run on end of day data as well as real time data. This easy to use template can be used in many different ways and indeed our community traders use it every day. Using real trade example, let us discuss the various exit scenarios and the way hop off addresses each of them easily and without ambiguity. This is IDBI, a banking stock from National Stock Exchange of India. It can be traded as stock, stock future or stock option. Here first we look at the stock on hop on template to decide trade entry point. If you have gone through the hop on template tutorial then by now you know that 28th April where we have drawn a cyan up arrow would be a go with flow trend following long trade entry. Why so? We can see that on that day magenta and cyan direction lines were going up showing the stock was in uptrend. The dotted line relative performance was tilting up showing IDBI was outperforming broad market. We had bullish movement and traffic light was also bullish green. By simply reading the lines and the colors we could decide to go long on that day. Now here is the first question in the mind of our superior profit community of traders. What is the initial stop loss? We would never want to enter a trade without knowing how much money is at risk. 
pop off template let us know that we will now switch to hop off template this is hop off template on idbi daily chart the same cyan arrow points to the long entry point you can see the red line moving along and below the price candles this is the protection signal for long position the green line moving along and above the price candles is the protection signal for short position protection signal can be used for initial stop and break even stop as well as for trailing stop we will explain each case one by one as we are looking into the trade taken on 28th april which was a long trade let's focus on the long protection signal for the time being our initial stop loss for long trade is always below recent low for the 28th april long entry recent low would be the low of 17th april and the reading of red color protection line on 17th april the day of recent low will indicate the maximum loss that we are going to accept this is our initial stop loss point we have drawn a magenta ellipse to indicate this initial stop loss we can see that after our entry the stock did move down a little however initial stop was not hit that is what protection signal does it gives the stop sufficiently away from entry point so that we don't get whipsawed at same time it gives the stop close enough so that we can cut loss without significantly eroding our capital we would not move our initial stop unless the stock moves enough in our trade direction to be able to switch to break even stop exactly when do we switch to break even stop we will explain that now here we have drawn a white horizontal line to show the price at which the long trade was entered we have also drawn a cyan tilted arrow showing the date when the long protection line crossed the entry price this happened on 14th may and this is the day when we move our stop loss from initial stop to break even from this point the trade is unlikely to lose money by this date the trade also happens to be in profit what about taking money off the table when we have some profit we will show how hop off helps with that if you have gone through our hop on tutorial you know that we tend to book profit at least partial profit on the boundary line upper boundary for long trade on 14th may the price had hit upper boundary we have drawn a magenta down arrow to indicate this initial profit booking price level we would book this initial profit with preplaced good till cancelled gtc order with the upper boundary as our exit price we don't have to keep watching the stock every day certainly not every hour if we are trading call or put options even before the stock has reached the boundary line there may be significant profit one may book partial profit at that time not every time but sometimes the stock keeps moving in our direction as it happened in this case and at those times we want to maximize our profit and let profit run on the remaining position at same time we don't want to erode that increased profit by eventual down move this is where trailing stop come into play we advise changing from break even to trailing stop only after partial profit has been booked not before that we will explain different ways of placing the trailing stop using hop off template 
This chart illustrates the first mechanism. Every day we check the price level indicated by the red long protection line and place a trailing stop order at that price. If during the day this price level is touched, our remaining position will exit with profit. If not, next day we raise the trailing stop again. This technique captures significant profit when the stock moves up at fast speed and it lets us keep most of that profit. As you can see in this chart, our remaining position would exit on 27th May, the day when the price candle came below the protection line. We have drawn a magenta down arrow on this day's bar. Our profit increased manifold by using trailing stop instead of exiting full position at upper boundary. This was the first mechanism. What is the second mechanism for trailing stop? We will explain that now. In the second mechanism, we don't move from break-even to trailing stop unless the stock makes a new higher low. At that time, we place our trailing stop to the level indicated by the protection line. And then we wait until either the stop is hit or a new higher low is made, at which point we move our trailing stop up. This mechanism works well when the stock is moving up in successive higher high, higher low formations, which is common in many liquid stocks in their bull run. In this chart, we have drawn ellipse to indicate the successive level of trailing stop loss as the stock went up. Eventually, the stop would be hit on 8th July. We have drawn magenta down arrow on that daily scandal. In this case also, protection signal helped us capture significantly more profit than exiting full position at boundary line. Which mechanism is better? A trader would not know for sure in advance. Our rule of thumb is this. If the stock has suddenly moved up very fast, then exit using the first mechanism. The fast move may not continue forever and the stock may fall back. We rather protect profit and wait for next opportunity. On the other hand, if the stock is gradually moving up, use the second mechanism. It may have energy to keep moving up in successive waves for longer time. Wait, is there another way to capture even larger part of the profit? There is, and that is using superior profit headwind signal when and if that appears. Headwind is another unique tool in Superior Profit Toolbox. If you have seen our Hopon template tutorial, you know that this signals potential change of direction even before the change actually takes place. It does not come all the time and to be sure, trend does not change every time this signal appears, that is to say, it's not a crystal ball. However, it works often enough for us to heed it. In this case, a bearish headwind appeared on 9th June. When that happened, one way is to move the stop to just below that day's low. In this case, the raised stop would be hit the very next day and we would exit the remaining half. We have drawn a magenta down arrow over this exit candle. As you can see, the stock actually fell from that headwind signal and is still continuing to fall. The headwind did mark the very top of the up move. And we could capture the maximum profit that any trader could from the remaining position. Aren't you impressed with the headwind signal? 
Our community of traders are always watching out for this signal. So much so that we actually have a headwind short trade setup. This is a trend reversal trade when we try to short at or near the very top based on appearance of headwind signal. You may learn more about this headwind short trade rule from our rulebook. Rulebook provides us with the unambiguous checklist for headwind trade and it allows us to trade confidently without second guessing. It is time to go back to the original hop off template. We have drawn two cyan lines showing where the trade entered and the two exit points. It was a highly profitable go with flow long trade. We were rewarded by much more than our risk, our initial stop loss. This was a go with flow long trade on a stock in uptrend. We used the red color long protection line. In a short go with flow trade on a stock in downtrend, we would use the green color short protection line in a similar manner. One last note on this template, you can see there are several inner lines within the two boundaries. This may be used for fast traders, for example day traders, to book profit quickly. Day trades are traded using zoom lens fine tune and power tune templates and these templates have many other useful signals. You can learn about all the superior profit signals in more detail in the book Trading Profitably Superior Profit Way. You may write to us for a free electronic copy of this book. When you do so, please include few lines on your trading background. We are interested to know what system or guideline you use in your trading. Our traders use hop up template as they do hop on and other templates. They make profit from that. You may like to watch our trade analysis series of videos to see superior profit tools in action in real trades. As you can see in this real trade setup, hop off achieves many goals. It helps to cut our loss short with initial stop loss. It lets us avoid a profitable trade turning into losing trade by using protection line to decide break even stop. It lets us take money off the table using boundary line. It allows us to let profit run using protection line and candle waves to decide trailing stop. And sometimes it helps us maximize the profit to the highest level using headwind signal. Hop off template does all that in an easy to read, unambiguous way. It is a complete template, including all the signals one needs to exit a swing trade. There are many indicators. Once you know them, you simply look at the colors and the lines and decide where to place initial stop, when to book partial profit, where to move trailing stop, when to close the entire position. You can make those critical decisions fast, very fast. Our community of traders make those decisions in 10 seconds or less. And once you have looked at few hop up charts, you will be able to do the same. Our traders shared their trade exits in the Superior Profit community forum, just as they shared their trade entries. That is the Superior Profit way of trading, using simple rules to enter a trade, booking profit at predefined price levels, and sharing trades in the community to help each other. I hope you found this video useful, trade profitably and I look forward to seeing you again.